guys, I'm here with a summer makeup tutorial, which I'm wearing right now. So I hope you guys enjoy, and if you want to see how it was done, um, definitely stay tuned. So I'm just going to get started with the makeup products here. The first thing I'm going to apply to my face is the Clinique City Block Sheer 25 SPF Sunblock. Um, and this is great. Um, it's an oil-free daily face protector. So it's meant to be worn daily um, when you're going to be out in the sun. I usually wear it when I go out in the sun, not every day, because my moisturizer does have SPF in it. I'm just going to dab this on my face. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, but I'm just looking at um, her little mirror behind the camera. But, um, and blend this into my fingers. Since I'm wearing this to the pool, it doesn't matter a whole lot what it looks like. It's After that's blended in, I usually like to wait just a few minutes just to kind of let it set in. I usually do my hair at that time, so, um, but my hair obviously is not really that done. It's just up in a high bun. Um, it just makes it a lot easier, whether I'm at work or just going to the pool, to have it out of my face and out of my way. Um, and since I have so much hair, it works really well to put it up in a high bun. And then after that, I put on my BB cream, which is also by Clinique. It's the Age Defense BB cream with SPF 30. And I'm in shade 2. So I'll show it to you guys. Just put a little dot on my finger like that. And I blend it in the same way that I blend in the SPF. And this also has SPF. I know that they don't like add up. But I feel like it just kind of gives me that extra protection that I would need. Um, and it kind of helps them stay longer. So that I know like even if some of my BB cream rubs off, then there's still some of that SPF from the sunblock on my face. So I'm just going to make sure this gets blended in really nicely. I'm doing most of these things just with my fingers because um, it's summer and I'm kind of lazy. And it's just a lot easier, I think, to put, like, a BB cream on with your fingers, whereas if I was using, like, a real foundation, I would much rather prefer to use a brush to apply it. But hopefully that's pretty well blended. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of uh, cream eyeshadow. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in number 13. I don't know if you'll be able to read that at all. Um, but it's just a shimmery champagne sort of color. I'm just going to take my ring finger and sort of dab it in there. Usually I apply this with a brush, but again, like I said, it's summer, it's for the pool. I'm just going to put it on with my fingers. So I'm going to swipe it over my eyelid, a little bit there, a little bit underneath, maybe a little bit under my brow bone, just to kind of brighten up my eyes. Um, and see, these are really waterproof. They stay all day long. It's not going to go anywhere. So, um, And then I'm going to just kind of continue with the eye. I am going to put just a little bit of eyeliner on, just on the top line. It is the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and de definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. Um, if this liner is so good, the name has to be this song. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Um, but it's in the shade Jewel. I don't know if you don't see that at all. But um, I'm just going to put a swatch on my hand so you can see. It's just a really pretty purpley, shimmery jewel kind of color. Not very good with top eyeliner, but we'll just do a little bit out here. So as you can see, hopefully you can see, uh, it's not too much, but just a little bit like to add a little bit of color. So that just kind of adds a little bit of definition to the eyes um, and just sort of fun color. It'd be cool if you put like a blue or a green or some sort of bright color on there as well. Um, that's just not really my thing. Um, now, I don't currently have a waterproof mascara, and I'm okay with that. I'm just not going to use mascara, but I am going to curl my eyelashes. Um, and this is with the Mark Eyelash Curler. Um, and I know that's not much of a difference, but it just kind of gives a little bit more definition to my lashes. So they look a little bit curlier and a little bit more put together. Um, and then the one thing I'm actually going to use a br brush for, I'm going to put on a little bit of blush. Um, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Longwear Blush in Adored. And I'm using this one because it is long wearing. Um, and it will stay on just a little bit better than most blushes. And this one, I, I don't remember when I got it. I got it a long time ago. Um, but it's pink and it's super glittery. Um, so most of the time, you can probably see the glitters there. Um, so most of the time, like, I don't like to wear this blush. But I feel like for the pool, it's fine. So I'm going to use my Marc Kabuki brush, which I'm going to show here. Um, it's like this. You pop it open. And so you can um, have the cover on it good for travel. 
um, great to throw in your like everyday makeup bag. But I'm just going to use this because it's really handy. Uh, I'll just take a little bit on my brush. Tap a little bit off. There's glitter like floating everywhere. Uh, I'm just going to put it on my cheeks. On my apples, I'm kind of blended out a little bit. So that's basically all of my makeup that I'm going to wear. Um, I know it's really simple, but um, it's for the pool. So I don't think it needs to be any more complicated. Um, and the last thing I'm going to put on is the MAC Sun Tints Liquid Lip Balm with SPF 20. And it's an A-Rose. A-U-R-O-S-E. A-Rose? I don't know how to say it really. Um, but it's just a really pretty, like, light shimmery pink color. Oh, you can see that there. Um, so my dad's is on. So it's basically just a gloss. There's not much color to it at all. Um, but it just gives sun protection, first of all, and then it just looks a little bit nicer. Uh, it makes my face feel a little bit more put together because there's some lip product on. So that's it for the makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and if you like these products or have any questions, just let me know. And as always, thanks for watching, and please remember to comment and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!